Hi everyone. Time for a little uh, ASMR board game unboxing. Got here uh, the new edition of Warhammer Underworlds uh, Night Vault. The uh, previous game was of course Warhammer Underworlds uh, Shade Spire. And uh, these are quite an ingenious uh, products for Games Workshop. You get uh, actual Warhammer miniatures here that you can use in your Warhammer Age of Sigmar games. And uh, sort of like a gateway drug here. But uh, for me, uh, this uh, so far uh, at the moment, you know, it's it's the only way to get these uh, new um, uh, warbands for my Stormcast Eternals collection. But uh, yeah, the game is also quite nice, so I don't mind uh, buying the whole game. Let's see what we got inside here. for the miniatures. changed from the uh, first game I, I believe of course some additional mechanics uh, in the cards to have here got a little uh, learn to play here and uh, then the uh, how to assemble guide and we have the game boards open this up as well. So uh, these game boards are two-sided. as well and uh, of course these are totally uh, compatible with the, the boards from the uh, first game so now you have a nice selection of uh, different boards com combined with these new ones and uh, yeah I guess uh, we could uh, punch all these uh, tokens here I love unpunching tokens, it's just so satisfying. You get that new game smell.
like a lot of tokens. Actually, I, I think there's uh, more here now than in the first game. Not sure. So these are your victory points that also double up as uh, basically like experience points. You can use them to uh, train your miniature fighters. by defeating opponents and by uh, fulfilling certain tasks uh, that you set yourself with your cards. And down uh, these are your action points. You get four per player. You can actually play uh, this with uh, players but uh, so far I have played this only as a, as a one uh, two player game I haven't really played uh, a, a bigger multiplayer game like that I'd uh, imagine it's uh, quite a different game of course any multiplayer game is like half uh, politics don't attack me, attack him. Which I kinda hate, <laughs> to be honest. I, I, I like to be uh, very straightforward in, you know, when I play games. And, uh, you know, kinda like honest. <laughs> which, uh, which, which I know it's, it's, it's not really good for me <laughs> if I want to win. But I kinda wanna win on my own terms. I don't like backstabbing all that much unless uh, the game really calls for it and I, you know, it's uh, the object of the game is to backstab, of course, then, then I'll do it. Um, these are wound markers. When your uh, figures uh, get damaged, uh, you assign these to them so you know how many uh, wounds they have left. And finally we have some status tokens for you to uh, uh, keep track of, uh, of the battlefield and uh, you know which uh, figure has done their, their turn, stuff like that.
So that's the tokens. Let's get to the miniatures last. Then we have a sample chapter of uh, the first Warhammer Underworlds uh, um, book. bunch of uh, dice the uh, uh, black and white dice are the same as uh, uh, with the first game you do your own battles with these but uh, yeah, these uh, turquoise dice are, are new, they're for magic, and uh, I think uh, they're going to do uh, a whole lot of uh, new things to your strategies, and uh, they look nice as well. I'm uh, not sure if uh, every team has their own spellcaster in the second edition here, maybe. Edge, or we're having, you know, 
over twice as many guys. Of course, it it still helps. Uh, you know, gaining the uh, objectives and uh, stuff like that, but uh, it's uh, it's a very very different way of playing. Then we have extra cards here. They say don't open this until you have played a few games, but uh, yeah, I've, I've played a few games before. So let's just open this up if this wants to get opened. Sorry, I gotta use my teeth. something there we go so you got your extra cards uh, of uh, the objective cards and uh, some extra cards for both teams and some um, generic extra cards as well to make things uh, more interesting. And uh, I guess uh, one of the few things that I don't like that much about the game is, uh, is of course the cards and uh, you, uh, you know, they uh, put the most uh, powerful cards, a couple uh, for each uh, warband or team. So basically if you want to get the best deck you have to buy all of them. Uh, but hey, at least they're you know not selling boosters uh, or you know some limited edition uh, high uh, power cards or something like that. So they are still all obtainable. But uh, kind of, I, I, I guess I, I would prefer uh, a board game that uh, that's uh, uh, that has a level playing field for everybody. Of course, games like Magic the Gathering is totally different. That uh, it's a very, uh, it, very uh, one of its uh, core values is that you collect the cards, and uh, not everybody has all the cards. So that's uh, part of the reason why I, why I love Magic so much. And uh, very thoughtful. They give you these little baggies for you to put uh, the tokens in and uh, put the uh, decks into as well. And uh, then you have a little advertisement here saying this was just the beginning. You're gonna spend a whole lot more money with us. <laughs> That's what Games Workshop is saying. Finally, we have the miniatures. They said somewhere that this this should be a uh, bone colored. It it does kind of look a bit bone colored in the uh, screen of the camera, but to my eyes, it, it's very much green. But of, of course, they are ghosts, so I guess green is. Uh, uh, as fine as uh, bone colored is. And uh, I love the fact that uh, you have these, uh, uh, you know, uh, modeled bases with uh, each of these uh, easy to build miniatures. You actually can assemble these without any glue. They have pegs uh, that they slot into, but of course I, I use glue anyway. Uh, yeah, my goal is to have one of uh, at least one of each uh, type of uh, unit uh, for Stormcast Eternals. So 
this is uh, something that I of course need to have as well and uh, yeah maybe I'll I'll uh, do some clipping here Let's see if I if I can get here yeah. instructions here I, I guess I'll clip out the uh, parts for the leader of the stormcast. How many pieces do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. What am I missing? this or push fit uh, I could uh, uh, assemble it now but uh, I want to do some uh, of course I have to clean up the parts so that there is uh, nothing left uh, of the sprue and I'm gonna do some some painting beforehand as well before I do the final assembly to the base here brittle part
base is the biggest one, number 22. So this is a 32 millimeter round base. And the other ones are 25 millimeter. And uh, oh, actually, no, the uh, this is it. It was just uh, four parts. The first one here was another character. Yeah, I'm gonna cheat my uh, my myself uh, into painting uh, through painting these. Uh, I did all the night haunt in the. Uh, the base set, uh, very uh, you know, simple, but I they are they are ghosts, so you can't have too too many details, right? And, uh, but yeah, overall I think they're looking quite striking, but I I don't have uh, won't have uh, uh, too much trouble painting these guys as well. I guess that's it for this little video. I'm gonna continue on uh, clipping these away and uh, and uh, sampling them with uh, glue and uh, getting the game ready for for some uh, fun battles. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time. Bye.